Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? I'm Louis and welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to evolve my titans for a while now. Now that I have enough gold, I believe I can do that. We're gonna go ahead and, and, and check on that. So we have all these soul stones here for the titans, you know, uh, large amounts for the, for the blue tit for the water titans, uh, including Hyperion, some for the others. We, we're going to have enough to evolve the Water Titans to 6 stars and Hyperion just a little bit but uh, the rest will will not go full full forward because we don't have enough souls for them. Thanks to the, the previous Water Titan event, Water Bottle event or something like that, we, we managed to get just enough for the, for the Water Titans. That's why they are so, so much further away than all the others. So the first thing that we we are going to do see we need ninety nine hundred soul stones for Hyperion and we're just short of ten but no problem because what we have two chests of super titans so that's the first thing we will do now and get our ten soul stones that's it now we have 900 should be enough for the evolution with this in mind let's let's take a snapshot of our statistics so let's check here on titan power ranking 908 total titan power 1000 1 titan power so just a little shy of 140k total titan power now we have enough souls we have enough gold 22 million i believe we will need something like 20 million 18 million i lost my calculations and um ah yes we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna check team compositions so we have here just the titan the water titans that's close to to 60k so 57k if we put here araji for example we have 10 10k more if we put eden similar 9k more if we put angus here we'll have a bunch more at 71k so just to give some some values here 57k this is going to change w the, the other teams that I, I vary a bit on they they depend usually on on the other supers and, and ignish but often i just play with angus so considerations 57k and 71k 71.5k so next step we check here on the titans and we're gonna start by by Sigurd so the, the tank for for the water titans let's go ahead each of these uh, evol evolution for these uh, regular water titans will cost us 1500 souls from five to six stars and also that costs a bit <laughs> to a million and five hundred gold yikes so go ahead so there we go we gained more than 2k of power to 1404 power and a lot more health that's the first shiny let's go now for no not nova we're gonna go for the one that sits in front of her mary 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 between sigurd and nova the same cost let's go 2 more k let's assume that probably it's going to be 2k for each one of them then we're going to do nova another 2k next up hyperion so hyperion is at four stars is going to uh, going to evolve to to five stars because i don't have enough soul stones for six stars that's going to take a while and so the cost will be also one um b besides the 900 souls 1 million 250 gold go 2k more power 
and now I have all the water titans uh, evolved to their possible, most possible evolution as of this moment. Okay. Now I still have plenty of gold and plenty of souls. And you might be wondering, first, why did I do the water titans? And second, what will I do next? So, in case you missed one of my previous videos. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a reminder that I wanted to get afterwards. I don't want to try this now. <laughs> I'll get to this in a bit. The reason why I'm doing the Water Titans first and they are my, my main team is because I picked them as my main team and the reason I picked them as my main team is also the reason that I picked the Water Totem. And uh, you should you should for um, for for mobile accounts this doesn't really matter. You just go with um, you just pick the best titans of each element that you prefer using. And you can do different combinations, like having three different su super titans and then putting, for example, one big tank of your preference, like Sigurd or Angus or Moloch, but it most often Sigurd or, or Angus. And then you put um, an usually Nova or, or Ignish. Then this depends if you are attacking, defending, who you're fighting, etc. But this is usually the most used uh, the most used combination some people including myself we we use um, for example one tank then uh, uh, one of one of these two that i mentioned and then two supers and we put one more support for example angus ignish nova and then two supers of your choice or you can go a little bit more uh, weird, <laughs> let's call it that way. And and we use, for example, Mary at the front without a tank, then the three supers and then Ignis. So there's a lot of combinations. This is very valid for mobile. For for the browser versions, however, since, since you need at least three titans of the same uh, element to activate your uh, existing um, totem and they need to be of the same element as that totem then the recommendation is to have three of those elements as, as titans and then you, you pick two more and usually it's best to, to use a fourth of the same element and then one other of your choice so that's why you saw those be back there so I have the water totem and uh, the I it's it's at two stars two stars of evolution and i picked the water titans as a team and so i will i will typically use sigurd nova mary and hyperion and then put a, f a fifth titan and that will be one of my choice and so angus araji eden agnes those are all valid options and um, then why you might ask then why three uh, or four water titans? What's the difference between three and four water titans? And and if there was a fifth water titan, would it matter? Yes, because the the water totem it will activate. Um, I believe the the word is faster, depending on the amount of titans that you have on your team. So. Um, wish I could remember where we can see that, but anyways, we have the information here. At least three water titans on the battlefield. So I believe the the word, the right wording is more frequently because it gets energy faster to activate its ultimate skills. And by the way, you can check those here. So um, Heals, in the case of the water type, I'm not going to go over this for all of them, but for, for example, for the water totem, it will heal your uh, allied titans and also damage the enemies. Right? Then there's extra extra bonuses there. I'm not going, going to, to cover those. Because this video is about titans, not totems. So, we have done the water titans, then 
and then you might ask why I started with with uh, with Sigurd the tank because the tank is in the front it receives the most damage so then that's the first that I always recommend doing first then I did the rest of the the water titans because those are my main team right then I have all the rest and from from here on I will split this into logical parts so I will do first the remaining tanks for the same reason they are in the front for their respective uh, elements so in the dungeon that matters but also if I want to fight uh, an opponent that I will need an extra tank then y you see why Angus <laughs> then um, Angus by the way is very good at, at do doing damage then um, after the tanks I will do the supers the remaining supers and then after those I will pick the remaining supports and then I will pick the remaining damage dealers so let's go for that we grab here Angus is at 4 stars so it's going to cost uh, 900 souls and 1,250,000 gold there we go against 2,400 power I believe that's probably the same for all of these uh, tanks at this uh, evolution I guess so let's go and roughly the same next we pick our Araji Araji is going and because it's at 3 stars the cost is, is lower so 750 gold and um, 750,000 gold and that was uh, 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 500 soul stones so we go for that short of 2000 power then we pick Eden the same and now we have more Agnes here it's getting a bit repetitive <laughs> Agnes and uh, word Avalon Avalon so why do I uh, put a, a higher priority on the supers and then the supports well the supers well they are the supers <laughs> they have two skills each one of them has I believe each one of them has two skills so all of them have two skills exactly and um, what can I say they are they are super strong super resistant comparing to normal titans they do a lot more damage comparing to normal titans I suppose their their uh, biggest competition would be the, the tanks themselves, and then um, their skills are al also very very good. For example, Araji will speed up your your titans, and he will try shoot the the nearest opponent with this laser beam. So, a laser beam made of lava, really cool. <laughs> and Eden will throw a big rock and also uh, entangle the 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 furthest or something opponent, random opponent and um, it will also blind and uh, and uh, well Hyperion it will throw these uh, ice rocks <laughs> at your opponents uh, all of them and different damage depending on the distance and it will also heal your opponent your uh, allies so is the only Titan that will naturally with these skills heal your um, your Titans then why Ignis and why Avalon and what about Nova? Nova Nova is, is is great because she can she does a lot of damage and she can stun the opponents throwing this weapon that she has. That's her skill. Alright. Ignis is going to increase your team's damage for a little while. So this one at, at this moment will increase by almost 36,000 damage for all of my titans for 6 seconds and um, and Avalon it will cast a shield this shield will be will be um, 100,000 100,000 also um, one correction here Nova is not a support but she is a damage dealer but because of how she behaves in, in, in the battle she's like almost a uh, support unit 
The real support unit for the Water Titans is Mary, and it will cast this uh, kind of curse. It's, it's they call it the curse, Abyss curse, that will reduce the damage of the of the enemy team for eight seconds by forty percent. This is a static number; it will not change regardless of level or evolution. It's always the same, and it's always for eight seconds, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I'm not mistaken. Well, or maybe I'm just used to seeing 40% because I have them maxed <laughs> on my mobile account. Anyways, it's 40% anyways at six stars. So that's why we pick these ones because they, they have a big utility uh, factor, right? So we have Avalon, we have uh, Ignish, we have uh, Araji and Eden. They are all upgraded, evolved actually. And now we're going to do the remaining damage dealers which are, which are not so important in comparison to, to this one. So, 4 to 5 stars. You could see that the, the power increase was tiny, just 1000 comparing to the other ones. Again, the same here. And uh, that's about, uh, I think, all for evolving all the titans. Yeah? And... Um, Now we're going to observe a little little something here. So you see that for uh, ev evolving to the next step, I have this amount and I need this amount, right? But you will see here that in the case of the water titans, the bar is full and it marks here soul stones 873, but I'm already at six stars. So what does it mean? That's the extra soul stones that I've accumulated thanks to the water bottle uh, titan event and now I can trade those for something else and so if we go here in the merchant you will be able this is similar to the, the, the jet soul shop you can trade these for the titan soul coins okay with the titan soul coins then you can you can do nice things which for example is to buy titan potions and then with the titan potions you can evolve upgrade actually your your titans right or also get sparks of power that's also something that's sometimes popular and um yeah that's the trick once you get your um any of your uh titans to six stars evolve to six stars you can start trading their soul stones for that coin which you can use to to get um that kind of equipment this is very similar to the merchant here for uh, soul shop where you can trade uh, extra uh, soul stones from uh, any of your heroes that has reached uh, six stars and then you can get chat you can get different kind of items using this coin the soul coin okay so now to complete our our video here we're going to check what is the difference here in my in my powers and all of that so remember I was at 47 K with the water Titans now I'm I'm at almost six, 66,000 power for the blue for the water Titans if we put here uh, Angus we jump to 82 good <laughs> that's cool that's a, a, a nice increase I, I believe it was 71 K so that's um mm, maybe I'm checking wrong but anyways that's it for for the, the powers let's go and check the ranking and I've jumped to a big increase so I I jumped 121 positions to a total of 158,000 power so nice increase just by evolving your titans it's not the most important thing, but every every um, every step counts to to increasing your potential in fights in battle. And don't forget to check <laughs> because that's also a nice one. Don't forget to check your quests and reclaim reclaim those those rewards every time you do something like this. Yeah, nice ones there. The next one I don't know if there's a next one. 
I believe that's the last one for the Titans for for upgrading your um, for evolving your Titans. So always always check on those. And um, well, also always check on my on my on my channel because I might have uh, some some new content every now and then. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe if you like this video and if you uh, and if you like my videos in general. Leave a like or not, it's up to you. Uh, I'll see you around in the next one. All right. Take care and good luck.